Hello everyone! Today we are going to take a look at adding some text boxes to our form and populating them within VBA. Um, in future tutorials we will upgrade these to load the data from a database um, but for now let's just get used to creating the objects, um, making it look pretty and using VBA. So to make the form look nicer I'm going to create a frame first. So I'm just going to put that here and I'm just going to call it customer details. Now let's just delete our hello world because uh, we don't need that now. And let's make this a bit bigger here. There, that's good. Um, and then we're just going to drag and drop a couple of text boxes on here. So if I make that sort of that big here and then this one here. Now I'm purposely making them a bit messy because um, I'm going to show you how we can align this um, as well there. So... What we're going to do here, right, let's let's label these now. So let's call this oops, customer ID, customer ID, and let's call this one customer, gosh, I can't type, customer name, and date of birth. Okay. So we've labelled those there and now what we actually need to do is to name the objects. So I always find it good practice to prefix the objects um, with what they are. Um, so labels for example I will prefix with LBL. So LBL customer, customer ID and let's call this LBL customer name and then let's have LBL date of birth and for text boxes I like to prefix these as um, TXT so that's TXT customer ID um, TXT customer name and then let's have date of birth TXT date of birth Okay. Now it's a very good idea if you know that these fields are going to come from a database to call the text boxes the same name as the fields are called in the database. Um, this will save a lot of confusion later down the line, believe me, um, and it also makes coding it much easier. So now that we've done this, um, if we want to make them all the same size, we can do this with the arrange button. So what we want to do down here is let's make them all the same height. Actually, no, we'll make them just the smallest. Oh, oh gosh, made them the same size, haven't I? Let's undo that. Highlight them all again, and we'll make them the shortest and match them to the widest. And then let's align them to the left one. And then the same with the labels. Let's make them all to fit. And then let's move them over here a bit. It's a bit annoying how it does that with the text boxes as well. Um, align left. And then move these over here a little bit. And then they're a bit wide, so shorten it a bit there. And another cool thing that you can do is um, you can equally space them all here. So equal vertical there. That will then put an equal gap in between the fields there, which is pretty good. Um, let's make them a bit shorter, actually, because they're never going to need that much space. 
And now that we've done that, we can use the properties window over here on the right, which you can get by pressing F4 um, to set the font and um, well, the text size and the font that we want to use. So we can just do that here. Let's say um, 10 and Calibri is fine for that. So we've got those details there now. So moving over on to the VBA window, um, I think I think what we'll do is we'll just leave this in the form load for now um, and we'll add a button at some point that will do this for us when we press the button. Um, but for now we'll just do it in form load so when the form loads um, it will populate these fields for us. So we just write the name of the object so the first one is text customer ID and we're going to say dot value equals and then let's call our customer uh, oh sorry customer id one um customer id one and then let's have text customer name dot value and then let's call this customer mr smith and then date of birth oh value equals um let's have the ninth of the ninth two thousand uh, and oh no let's make him older than that okay okay so it's got those details in there oh i forgot to mention as well um we can also set the type of data that we're expecting to appear here um so for example um the format of this we know that this is going to be a number so we can just leave it here at general um, the same with name whereas date of birth um, we can set this actually to be like a short date uh, which is quite good when you're using dates um, so now that we have written the VBA in here we can run the form and that will populate it here with what we've just set it to there if we want to change this so that you know that it is uh, it is working. We can just do that there like that. So let's align them all right. Where's the align? Yeah. Let's align the data to all appear on the right. And we can just do that there. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, if you found this tutorial useful, please like and subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below. Um, the next tutorial in this series will be doing the same thing as this, but with labels. So thank you for watching.